Hey guys, it's Cambos here, and um, I just wanted to address uh, something that I have seen come up many, many times. Oh my gosh, why is this so low? Oh gosh, I'm sorry if you guys couldn't hear me for a while. Um, but I was just saying that I wanted to address something that has been coming up for a while, which is the um, the fact that the Human Torch is African American or black, um, and which is something that I'm fine with. My friends are fine with it, and really, I've seen people on numerous uh, occasions making fun of how he's black. And this is literally the reasons why he's black. But first, these are my opinions. Then I'm going to go into why he really is black. So I think that it's perfectly fine. Um, they say that Johnny and Sue Storm are still brother and sister, and I am okay with that because I because Sue Storm is adopted, and um, plus she's like really tan. So I mean, they don't look that far apart, and. The, th- the thing is, is that I know people who have adopted brothers or sisters, and they still act, they still, like, call them their blood brother or blood sister, because they're just close like that, and like how I said in my Info and Opinions video about, what, a year ago, I said that, um, if they at least have a brotherly and sisterly really a sort of sibling like relationship i'm okay with that and uh, michael b jordan and kate mara seem to be playing off the two roles very well um in the trailer so really all that i really want to focus on is the reasons why uh the i already said that what the heck um but um it's it's, it's just not that big of a deal people like really people should be wanting more african-american superheroes because think about all the things that they had to go through in the time th- that was before martin luther king and stuff they were uh, african-americans were slaves they were segregated they were treated like dirt and there's no reason for it and there still is no reason for it so all the racist comments and jokes really need to stop because I like the fact that they're putting more black superheroes into the Marvel universe like no one complained when they turned Spider-Man black after Peter Parker died um and they made him Miles and they made Spider-Man Miles Morales no one complained in Captain America 2 when Falcon was black no one's complaining with the Black Panther that he's black and, and, and no one's complaining that Nick Fury is black. I mean, Nick Fury used to be white, and now he's black. Like, what the heck? So you're complaining about one superhero, yet the one person, the one super spy that you see in every single movie that is Marvel, or probably even every single movie ever, whether it be a Quentin Tarantino movie or the freaking what was it like Hitman or something? I don't, I don't know. But whether it be Quentin Tarantino or Avengers, you see Samuel L. Jackson anywhere. And really, it's just irrational. And the real reason why the Human Torch is black is because the director literally comes from a mixed family. He, because I saw his post on Twitter where he said that he would come home from like somewhere and it'd be like Christmas time and everybody would be gathered around the house and there would be black people and white people and they weren't separated in parts of the house they were all congregating and talking together so that 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 wasn't just on a twitter um thing because that would have been a bit lengthy it was also on an interview he did an interview and that's also where i got the answer for why is he black why is the human torch black and really uh, the director is white and he says that he's perfectly fine with it and if the director who is white is perfectly fine with it then what room is it for you to make to judge someone else's opinion that's already been casted and filmed what do you think they're just gonna delete the trailer and cast another human torch and just make another fantastic four no and they're already planning fantastic four two and um a couple and probably like a fox tv show that's probably going to feature the fantastic four in it 
there's black X-Men, I believe. There's a freaking gay X-Men. You are okay with a gay X-Men, but you're not okay with a black Fantastic Four Human Torch? What's wrong with you? Plus, if they're going with the Future Foundation story, then Human Torch is going to die off by like maybe the second or third movie and have Spider-Man replace him anyways. So, there's really no reason to get mad about Human Torch being black, and really, that's the reason why he is black because the director comes from a mixed family, so he thought, why not put that into um, into a movie, because I've seen realistic stuff like that. Um, and I'm talking from the director's perspective and my perspective. Um, so, yeah, hey, my, my family is mixed. What the heck? My family is mixed. I have white people in my family. What the heck? You're just, like, you guys are all over the place. And so am I. Campbell's is all over the place. Man. That's the truth. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Campbells can get very real sometimes. Sorry if, uh, I don't know if I'm offending you or in any way, or if you're just like, F this, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. I still don't like the Human Torch being black. Well, okay, that's your opinion, but I'm just telling you why he's black in the first place. So, uh... I don't know, guys, but just, you know, if you did enjoy this and you agree with the fact that Human Torch is black, then be sure to leave a like and comment your opinions and subscribe for more videos, Fantastic Four related and superhero related. I got a whole bunch of, I got a list right here planned on what videos I'm doing. There's Daredevil, uh, Supergirl, Batman v Superman, Lego Marvel, a Marvel announcement, and Lego Batman 3. Part 3.5 is coming up soon, so keep your eye out for that by subscribing, and I'll catch you guys later.